she is she is fluffy she is shedding I just wanted to come on here and do some kind of like holiday hairstyles since we are in the midst of holiday season I wanted to give you guys multiple hairstyle looks to try to pull off during your holiday All right, gang, let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. We are doing another crochet wig, going in using the Bobbi Boss Brazilian Ocean Wave crochet hair. This bundle comes with three bundles in inches 14, 16, and 18. And we will be using the Freetress Anti-Slip Lace Crochet Wig Cap. This crochet wig cap has a lace part to give you that natural looking wig part. And it also has the silicone grip on the edge band of the wig cap to help you keep it on with not having to worry about it slipping off your head I will say that the grip is awesome on this wig cap I did not even have to use the combs to secure my wig to my head I started off with the 18 inches in the very back of the wig and then moved up going up to the smaller sizes with the smallest size in the very front to have that nice cascade layers of curls for my wig. I did cut each bundle in half so it's nowhere near the length of what it was and I usually don't go for long wigs or lo making long crochet wigs um, especially when it comes to curls because they can tangle with synthetic hair so I try to keep my curls as short as possible and right above my shoulder is perfect so cutting all those bundles in half left the wig falling right below my shoulders but once trimming and everything is done it'll fall right at my shoulders I slowed the video down so I can show you guys how I tie the hair to the crochet cap. And I do a single slip knot on the hair. The hair is a nice natural texture, so it's not like really silky soft. Um, so it, it does tie very well. I didn't have too many problems with my knots coming undone. And if they did come undone, it was because either my strand of hair was too big or my strand of hair was too small and it slipped right out. So make sure you're using the right amount of hair I don't really know how to describe the right amount of hair. It just really took a lot of trial and error trying to figure out what amount and how to tie it securely. That way I know it's not going to fall out while I'm wearing the wig. Once the wig is complete, I'm gonna go ahead and try it on and make my adjustments. I immediately start messing with around with the lace part to try to blend it in and make it look as seamless as possible. Um, I did struggle with this a lot and I think it was mainly because I used a black wig cap underneath the wig instead of a natural color. I usually use black wig caps when I wear my crochet wig just in case of you know fear that you might see the all the netting and stuff from the crochet wig i wear a black one underneath it so it all looks like one seamless color but with that lace part it was just not it wasn't looking good with that black cap underneath you could tell like it just looked really really off so i'm adding concealer like trying to like make tint it to my skin tone as much as possible but it just it was just not it was not it so my problem was that i need to switch to a flesh tone one so just in case you do try to use this lace part crochet wig cap i do highly recommend using a nude wig cap rather than a black one and some people may already use a nude one or a skin toned one i have always just used black for my wig caps 
So I'm just cutting it down, shaping it, making sure my curls are falling where I want them and making sure the length is good. It did shed a lot. I don't know if it was from where I kind of teased the hair to give it that nice feathered look. And you know, I love volume. So the bigger the hair, the more, the merrier. So I think that's where most of my shedding came from. Um, I didn't have any problems with any strands or anything actually falling out, but I did you know notice that as I was like teasing it and cutting it I was getting a lot of shed so I tried to shake the wig real good just to make sure I got all those loose strands out I ended up just bringing some hair forward to kind of like cover up the lace part just a little bit. I felt like the part was just way too wide or maybe I just put too much concealer and I made the part look wider than what it needed to be. Mistakes were made. So I'm just really trying to figure out the best way to wear the wig without it looking too obvious. And my husband is always quick to let me know if a lace is not laid. So I tried to just, you know, let, let me just cover it up. Cause I really did like the color. I really like the curls. It was just giving me body and life. And I really want this wig to work. So it just takes some teasing, some fluff in here, you know, some, you know, laying here and I got it to work. All right, so <laughs> I feel like I'm Beyonce out of Austin Powers right now. Like, this is some big blonde hair. I haven't done anything like this in so long. It just looks so old school and weird on me. So it took me a minute to, to get adjusted to it. I only use that one pack of the Bobby Boss I was a crochet Brazilian ocean wave. It was a three pack with multiple lengths. It had 14, 16, and 18 length in there. And I cut all of them in half. It says one pack is a solution. And I cut all this in half and I still felt like I was kind of stretching with uh, placing the hair. I felt like the hair wasn't like as condensed as I would like it to be. Um, so I definitely would have bought probably a second pack of this. It was on sale anyway. My um, local beauty supply store was throwing it out. So it was like half the price of what it usually was. So I only paid like $6 for this look. <laughs> a whole week for $6. <laughs> so this is definitely a occasion hairstyle for me. I I don't see this being my everyday wig at all. Like this is a, I mean, it's it's very light, it's very fluffy, it's very like bouncy. It is it's gorgeous, but um, I don't see me wearing this every day. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I do uh, love like this blonde. I feel like I haven't worn like blonde like curls in like so long. There was a time where. Blonde was literally the only color you would catch me in, and uh, seeing this, like lately, I've just been bringing back all the nostalgia when it comes to my my hair. Lately, like I did that quick weave about a week ago, and that brought me back to like middle school. And now this style is like bringing me back to like 2000, uh, like 16, where I had the blonde uh, curly fro and. It, it took me a minute. My husband walked in. He was just like, wow, you used to like somebody out of a, a 70s like movie. Like, you know, you, you belong in the Austin Powers movie. Every hairstyle requires a different attitude. You just can't have the same attitude for every hairstyle that you wear. Just, this was a lace part. It came with a lace part. Now on the model in the picture, it was a middle part. I tried it on as a middle part and I did not like it. I felt like the, the curls just wasn't falling the way they should have. So I moved mine over to the side. So if you do purchase this lace um, crochet wig part, you are able to move the part however you see fit. The only problem is I didn't like the lace part. Now I will show you guys what it looked like. I tried, you know, tinting it and adding some like concealer to kind of clean it up maybe i just don't know what i'm doing and it just didn't work out for me but my husband could definitely tell and he felt like it was like extremely obvious and whenever he tells me something extremely obvious i know that 
of the walking man down the street that I come across at a grocery store anybody would see it so I went ahead and decided to just cover it up with these curls because it's not like there's a shortage of curls on this wig <laughs> and we've talked about our wig classification where we have our event wigs and we have our grocery store wigs grocery store wigs and when we can throw one with minimum effort walk out the door do what we got to do to get back in the house this is an event wig you wear it for a couple of hours look cute get your pictures and get the hell out of there get home and take it off and then you have you know your regular everyday wig i don't have too many of those i don't have too many everyday wigs my wigs usually tend to be dramatic and over the top and yeah like i I tried to like accessorize it, maybe like adding a headband would kind of. I don't know if the headband's doing anything. She is, she is fluffy. She is shedding. Thank you guys for joining us for another hair tutorial here on my channel. I just wanted to come on here and do some kind of like holiday hairstyles. Since we are in the midst of holiday season, please be safe and be blessed. We'll see y'all on our next video. And if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like Beyonce from Goldmember. <laughs> we will see y'all later.